New pictures released by the US Army do appear to inadvertently expose a much larger French military role in Syria than previously thought. A French army vehicle can be seen in the background of a photo in Deir Azor where the US is fighting what's left of Islamic State terrorists in the area. The image, though, was quickly deleted. Here's Charlotte Dubinsky with more details. Well, we know that the U.S. Army released this photograph on Wednesday to show its special operation uh, joint task force on the ground in Syria, in this particular region, uh, Deir Azor. But what eagle-eyed members of the public clearly spotted was a French military vehicle in the background. Now people have said they're sure that it's a French military vehicle because this particular type of vehicle is only used by French and Saudi Arabian forces, and Saudi Arabian forces are not on the ground in this particular region. Now, what it showed is that military vehicle in the background. And what's really interesting about this is that the French government, the French military, has never acknowledged that it has French troops on the ground in this particular area of Syria. Now, we do know that uh, this area is where the US-backed uh, fighters have been battling against jihadists. And we also know that France has been part of a US-led coalition, which has been conducted air operations over Syrian airspace over uh, the last few years. Uh, but in particular, it's been aiding Kurdish forces on the ground as they fight against ISIL or Daesh forces. Now, and we know that France has pledged in the past full support to Syrian Kurds on the ground. The president assured the Syrian Democratic Forces of the French support, in particular for the stabilization of the security zone in the northeast of Syria within the framework of an inclusive and balanced governance to prevent any resurgence of ISIL while seeking for a political solution to the Syrian conflict. Well, that support from the French military has been vague as to what it actually means and what the context of that support actually is. And there is actually a question over the legality of the French and the US troops being in Syria at all. Of course, they do not have a UN mandate to be there and they do not have permission from the Syrian government to be there. We also know that France has repeatedly warned that if it believes a chemical attack has taken place, it will uh, see retribution and retaliation for such an attack on Syrian ground. So now with their troops seemingly absolutely on the ground in this area that nobody has acknowledged previously, perhaps France is raising an even bigger warning flag.